Hey everybody, today on Locked On Bama, we're going to continue Jimmy Stein's countdown of the roster. We'll go through numbers 25 through 21. Um, we've got some other stuff we're going to talk about, some little bit of recruiting news, and just things like that, getting you ready for the NCAA tournament. But we're not going to really talk basketball today because we've got a few days. We still don't even know who we're playing. So y'all bear with us. Stick with us. Appreciate you making us the first place you listen to an Alabama podcast every single day. And let's get started. You are Locked On Bama, your daily podcast on the Alabama Crimson Tide, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. Everybody, and welcome back into Locked On Bama. Luke Robinson, that's me. Jimmy Stein, that's him. Jimmy, how are you today? Well, I'm doing uh, pretty good. It's rainy. One of my favorite things to do whenever we start this podcast is to watch you try and adjust yourself so that you look better to yourself when you're looking at yourself no, in the phone. I think that's cool. Um, <laughs> <laughs> that's not that's not really what's happening. But uh, yeah, I'm always adjusting the. It, it, you know, whenever you record on a phone, it's hard to get used. It's it's hard to get used to that because the the camera is not in the center of the phone that's right the camera is not in the center of the phone so it's uh it, it's very difficult to wrap my head around that fact no i'm with you on that like i spend most of my time and it's also hard to grasp the opposite aspect like every time i want to fix yes. my hair because my hair always looks like crap on this thing i'm always doing this and i'm like nope need to do this and then it doesn't do right anyway uh jimmy mac wilson uh, Former Alabama great has been traded from the Browns to the Patriots. So good for him as we go through some quick hitters uh, right now. Also on your site, on three, there was talk about uh, a kid named Christian Gray, a defensive back out of St. Louis, who uh, has given Alabama some high marks, number 109 player in the country, according to on three. And there was a lot of talk about Arch Manning and how Alabama is very much in it on the on three website. And, um, you know, I, I guess I didn't think much about how the Nico Iamaleva stuff affects Arch Manning because, I mean, first of all, it's never been confirmed that Nico Iamaleva is the guy with the $8 billion uh, signing bonus, quote unquote, to go to a university, that university probably being Tennessee. But it sure feels like that's what it is. And if that is the case, boy, how interesting would that be for the March, oh, excuse me, Arch Manning sweepstakes? It's a big deal, and and this is what uh, I mean. This this makes it sound like I'm saying something negative, or or warning people, or 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 just uh, predicting doom. Uh, I'm not doing that at all. I'm just pointing out that look at the quarterbacks Alabama is involved with, or or seemingly recruiting. Uh, Nico is one of those guys. If 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 Tennessee's paying him eight million, and he's already signed that deal with the collective, then uh, then he's out. Uh, Christopher Vizina from Birmingham, who everybody, you know, has always assumed Alabama is in on because he's from Birmingham and he's a five-star or he's going to be a five-star. Uh, he reports he doesn't hear from Alabama very much. Uh, and, and he is being recruited very heavily by some of the best programs in the country. So you have to take Vizina out. I mean, he's, he's, he's going to be committing soon to maybe Clemson or possibly Ohio State, uh, but he's out. So really, in terms of big name quarterbacks, it seems or it feels like it's arch or bust for Alabama unless Alabama gets heavily involved with a new name. I, I think Alabama, to some extent, is recruiting Dylan Lonergan from Georgia. Uh, I guess that that that's a name that we have to keep out there. Lonergan, however, has extensive ties to Penn State. So, uh, so we'll see. But it, it does sort of feel like it's Arch or bust for Alabama. But the good news is Alabama is uh, in, in very good shape for Arch, who is, in my opinion, uh, easily the number one quarterback in this class nationally. Yeah, and it, how long do you think the Arch Manning thing will go on? I mean, is he going to be a guy who commits right. early and, and then acts like a Pied Piper, or is he going to wait till the end? I think it'll be a little bit in between. Uh, I, I don't think there's anything official no one knows for sure. I'm not even sure the Mannings know. But if we're guessing on when he's going to commit, I would say the end of summer, 
maybe uh, sometime in July. Okay, I can live with that. I'd love to. I mean, that's early to me, um, right. Jimmy. So that we have plenty of time to go into your roster countdown. I want to get uh, five guys in today. Uh, Boyd B uh, is going to be number one, and we'll talk about him as soon as I tell you about Stat Hero. Uh, look, I love March Madness every single year. My brackets always suck because that's just everybody's brackets always suck. You can always throw them away after the first weekend, generally. That's why Stat Hero is different. Stat Hero's NCAA single game pickums pits the star players against each other in an amazing hybrid between fantasy and sports gambling. Take control back from those handicappers that always seem to have the advantage. Stat Hero gives you that. Stat Hero focuses on the players you know best with a gameplay that doesn't rely on big spreads or funky props or anything like that. Stat Hero gives you the advantage resulting in their gamers winning four times more often. Why is that? Because Stat Hero eliminates the mystery about who or what you're going up against. Sign up for free right now at stathero.com slash locked on. Use promo code locked on for a 100% deposit match. That's stathero.com slash locked on. Use promo code locked on for a 100% match. If you didn't hear me, I'm going to say it again. Steadhero.com slash locked on, promo code locked on. Terms and conditions may and I assume will apply. Then there's Built Bar. These things are awesome. You know they're awesome. Uh, I, I love their puffs. They're a fan favorite with everybody, including me. And they've got all these incredible flavors like uh, cinnamon churro, coconut, marshmallow, banana cream pie. All these are so good. And they're covered in chocolate. All Built Bars are. Yes, even the puffs, 100% real chocolate. Low calorie, high protein. Replace your candy bar with these built bars and puffs. They are better. A typical candy bar can be anywhere from two to 300 calories. Well, built bars, they're about 130 calories, four grams of sugar, four net carbs, and 17 grams of protein. Hard to beat that. At Built Bar, they're all about taste. They make it taste delicious first, then figure out how to make it healthy. And I don't know how, but they pull it off. That's, that's just the way it is. Go to built.com. Use promo code LOCKED15 for 15% off your order. Use promo code LOCKED15 at, at built.com to get 15% off of that order. Jimmy, I want to tell everybody to check out the Bracket Breakdown Show uh, from our Locked On buddies, including us. Um, uh, we will have a little bit to do with that. So looking forward to it, the Lockdown break, uh, Breakdown Show. Locked On. Bracket breakdown show. Okay, you say that five times real fast on a whim, on winging it. Let's see how good you are, people criticizing me right now. Anyway, <laughs> let's talk about uh, your roster countdown. Let's go to uh, who you have number 25 on the roster is Justin Aboigby. I believe I'm saying that correctly. And um, I think, Jimmy, I think he's low, but see, without having gone throughout the whole countdown at one time, it's hard to really say that, but I do think he's low on your list. Well, uh, he is a, a member of what I call the, the, the first team defensive line rotation. There's four guys that are returning that have played uh, with the ones quite a bit on defense, Byron Young, uh, Tim Smith. Um, DJ Dale and Justin Aboigby. And uh, I have Aboigby the lowest rated of those four, but I have him ahead of all the other defensive linemen, uh, just in the sense that he's played with the first team and he's played well. I, I think the thing with Aboigby is we have seen in flashes that, that he can play. Uh, that's why he's playing with the first team. He's been playing first team snaps since he was a freshman, and now he's about to be a senior in his fourth year. Uh, he's always played. But he's never been what I would call, uh, you know, he's he's not the reason we win the games. He's, he's a reason the defensive line is good. He's a reason the defensive line is deep. But he's not a reason we win the games. He's He's got to be, he's got to take another step in his development. And he's sort of running out of time. Uh, he is a senior. He could come back and play in 2023 uh, with the COVID year if he chooses. I wouldn't be surprised to see him do that because I'm not sure how high his NFL stock is at this time, but uh, but he is a good player. Yeah, definitely a good player. Um, I, I like him a lot. Oh, my God. Did you just vomit? <laughs> it was a big it was a big cough, but I smartly muted myself. You did mute yourself. I'm proud of you. The <clears throat> proud of you. Yeah, I did. I'm figuring um, this. Uh, I'm figuring this phone out. So then you have number 24 is Trey Sanders. Um, that's interesting. I think that's high for him because we just don't know what we're going to get. 
it, I mean, I, I, I feel like you're basing this off his five-star status from a couple of years ago. Well, not really. Uh, part of it I'm based on, I thought in the playoffs, he wasn't back to what I, I think he can be. But I do think that he was back uh, in, in terms of a guy that could really help us. I, I thought he looked quicker, faster, stronger in the playoffs. And, and that was just with a month layoff from the season. Uh, I, I'm just gaining confidence that slowly but surely uh, Trey Sanders is going to be back uh, to his old self. Uh, it was going to be a long march uh, getting there. And, uh, and I think he is getting there. I, I think he will be no worse than the number three back on the team this fall and a guy that we have less hesitation uh, to use uh, and, and he'll just be healthier and healthier. Uh, I, I won't be surprised at all, Luke, if he even has a nice A day. Um, I, I think I think we're getting closer to uh, to the old Trey. I, I would love to see it. Um, and when you say the old Trey, see, we don't even know what the old Trey is, frankly. We're all basing <laughs> it on his five star status. We don't know what he is. Well, we believe we got really a good is. look at him the week before the accident, like literally the game before the accident. I think it was against Mississippi State uh, in 2020. Uh, he played uh, really well. Uh, I, I don't think he had a 100-yard game. It was something like an 80-yard game, but it was only on about nine carries, and, and he looked good. I mean, it was just like he was just finding his way in, into being a, a really good college football player and then, then the accident. So I, I think we've seen flashes of it. We've even saw some flashes of it last season. He wasn't his old self, but you can tell he's a natural back. He runs with power. Uh, he did have speed and burst before the accident. That that has slowly improved over time. And uh, I'm, I'm still optimistic that, that we're going to have a really good Trey Sanders by the time he leaves. Here's hoping you're right. Um, Jimmy, I want to tell everybody, about Rock Auto, this episode is brought to you by Rock Auto. With the ever-increasing numbers of makes and models, it's now impossible for your local chain to uh, stock all the parts you need. Why endure the often pointless and seemingly intimidating questioning like, is your Honda Odyssey an LX or an EX? That's my impersonation of a, of a dude behind the counter at a local chain store. <laughs> and wait while the person behind that counter, who I just impersonated, orders the parts on their computer, choosing the only brand that their warehouse happens to carry. You don't want to deal with that. Save time and money when using Rock Auto. Why choose to spend 30 to 100% more for the same part from a chain store? That doesn't even make sense. Especially now, gas is you know, $82 a gallon. It's insane. You need to save money everywhere you can. Rock Auto is a family business serving do-it-yourselfers for over 20 years. Rock Auto prices are reliably low for every customer. They have everything you could need. Brake parts, tail lamps, motor oil, even new carpet. Whatever you want, they got it at rockauto.com. Go there right now. See all the parts available for your car or truck. Right, locked on in the how'd you hear about us box so they know locked on Bama sent you. Amazing selection, reliably low prices. All the parts your car will ever need. Rock Auto. All right, Jimmy, last three guys uh, for today. Mm -hmm. J.C. Latham at number 23. Again, I feel like he's low. Well, he's got to win a starting spot. I, I mean, I, I think just about everybody projects J.C. Latham to be a starter this fall. I know I do. Uh, I think he will. Uh, and we're basing that, again, part, part off the, the recruiting hype. But he did play as a true freshman. Let's remember that. I think some people were hoping he would be a starting tackle start all season, be sort of the savior of the offensive line. That didn't happen. Um, and, and, and people were a little disappointed. But then as the season wore on, we started seeing him more and more. And then lo and behold, uh, in the playoff, Ekior gets hurt. Latham comes in and plays most of the Cincinnati game at guard. And when I watched the replay, I really focused on him. He played really well. He more than held his own. And I think considering – Tackle's probably a better position for him, and he was kind of thrown into the fire, and it was against a good opponent. Uh, I think there's all sorts of reason to be ecstatic about J.C. Latham going forward, but he's down here around that 23 range just simply because, Luke, he hasn't been a starter. He hasn't played a lot. We haven't seen him at tackle, so uh, it's still a projection that he's going to be a great player, but there's plenty of reason for optimism. Okay. Um, I think that's fair enough. I just, 
boy, I was killing you about Trey um, for ranking him for his five star status. Now I'm getting on to you for not ranking Latham enough for five star status, but whatever. Um, number twenty two. <laughs> Number 22 is D.J. Dale. Um, God, it, he's been at Alabama. He's, he came to Alabama in Lorenzo Whammy Ward signing class, and uh, he's been here ever <laughs> since. So t- tell me about D.J. Well, uh, he you know he started right away as a freshman, and, and, and it was a surprise to people. Uh, it was a surprise to me. Uh, he, he was, just, he was a, a pretty highly regarded recruit, but I don't think anybody out there said, Here's a guy who's going to start day one at Alabama, and he did. Uh, but then he, he he ran into some issues with his knees, both knees actually. Every knee he's got uh, was hurt at one point, and uh, and I think that's hurt his development. Now last season, uh, a little healthier, and, and we saw a better DJ Dale, particularly the second half of the season. I thought he was really good. Everything is in place for DJ Dale to have his best season since he's been at Alabama, and I'm excited to see that. This is uh, maybe not a uh, difference maker, maybe not an All-American, maybe not a high draft pick, but this is a very solid, experienced SEC football player. All right, final one for today, Jimmy, is Javion Cohen. Um, I think you got him just right at number 21. Just right. You nailed it. Good job, Jimmy. (laughs) <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you for that. Yeah, I, I, I carefully uh, I carefully pick where to, where to put these guys. Uh, Cohen is going to certainly be a starter. Uh, I have him on the lower end of the 22, just basically because while he was a full-time starter last year and did fine, uh, that's what he did. He did fine. Um, he, he was He's good enough to where he started all year. There was never a question to bench him. And I don't think there's a question that he's going to be a starter this year but he has yet to play at an all-star level. And that's the challenge for him. One step further for Javion means, okay, now you're a full-time starter. Now be one of the better offensive linemen in this league. Contend for all-star honors. That's the challenge to him. I think he may meet it. It'll be interesting to see uh, if he plays guard or tackle. All right, buddy, that'll do it for today's episode of Locked on Bama. The roster countdown was the main focus. Tune in tomorrow. We'll have more roster countdown stuff. And, um, you know, we might. I'm not sure when we're going to cut tomorrow's podcast, but we should have an answer about who Alabama's going to play if we do this the way I want to do it. But we don't always do it the way I want to do it. So we'll see. Um, We'll go from there. Jimmy, we will talk tomorrow. And until then, roll tide, buddy. Roll tide.